The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized the way astronomers look at the universe. Since its launch on December 25, 2021, images captured by the largest telescope with potentially the highest sensitivity and infrared resolution have been going viral around the planet. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most advanced telescope in human history. Its Integrated Science Instrument Module, or ICM, provides the telescope with electrical power, computing framework, cooling capability, and structural stability. The ICM also holds the guide camera of the telescope into the four science instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope hosts multiple instruments. The near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph is used to stabilize the line of sight during science observation, while the mid-infrared instrument measures mid to long infrared wavelengths. Finally, the fine guidance sensor, near-infrared imager and array camera measures spectra over a wide range of wavelengths. So far data from this machine is proving to be well worth its $10 billion price tag. The first image ever released from JWST was revealed to the world on July 12, 2022. Experts believe that the images captured by the Webb Telescope, the most powerful telescope in the world, demonstrate its abilities. These included images of cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula, exoplanet WASP-6b, and the Southern Ring Nebula. The telescope also captured Stefan's Quintet and a brilliant deep field view of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has provided scientists with even more dazzling and awe-inspiring images of the cosmos than astronomers expected. Some of these images have left astronomers and cosmologists quite confused. A flood of astronomical papers has been published since the revelation of these images and data from the JWST. A few of these papers have caused cosmologists to panic. However, the reason for this panic is not clear. Some claim that the findings of the James Webb Space Telescope contradict the Big Bang Theory, while others say that the telescope finds support for it. We need to understand what the Big Bang is in order to understand what is going on in the universe. The Big Bang is a model that explains how the universe evolved from its initial state at the time of a hypothetical explosion that took place about 13.8 billion years ago. It was developed from observations of the current structure of the universe and from theoretical considerations. The Big Bang model is a widely accepted theory that explains how the universe began. It states that the universe expanded from an initial state of high density and temperature. This model offers a comprehensive explanation for a broad range of observed phenomena, including the abundance of light elements, large-scale structure and cosmic microwave background. The theory is compatible with the hubble lemmater law, which proposes that the farther away galaxies are, the faster they're moving away from Earth. The law predicts an increasingly concentrated universe preceded by singularity, in which space and time lose meaning. The Big Bang is the name given to the event that occurred at some point in the past 13.7 billion years ago that resulted in the formation of our universe. This event was when all matter and energy were compressed into a single point, which then began expanding. The Big Bang is considered an incorrect name for this expansion because it suggests that there was a central point which exploded outward. In fact, the universe is expanding into itself and does not have a center. Rather, galaxies rush away from each other rather than being blown by an explosion. It was also found that there is some heat left behind in space caused by this early expansion. This temperature is uniform across space rather than just within a localized region. While we cannot see the Big Bang, scientists have identified a number of observable signs of it. According to NASA and ESA scientists, heat from 380,000 years ago can be seen in the entire sky and throughout space. Scientists use satellites called the Cosmic Background Explorer, the Wilkins Microwave and Isotropic Probe, and Planck to map out this heat. The universe was extremely smooth at this point in time with only tiny ripples in temperature. The James Webb Space Telescope's main purpose is to observe the first objects in the universe after it formed. According to Dr. John Mather, a senior project scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope, the time period is perhaps hundreds of millions of years later than the one other satellites were built to see. Dr. Mather thinks that these tiny ripples of temperature were seeds that eventually grew into new galaxies. Humanity doesn't know exactly when or how the first stars and galaxies formed in the universe, so scientists built a telescope to find out. The Big Bang theory states that the universe was born out of a gigantic explosion called the Big Bang, which created all matter and energy. In its most basic form, the Big Bang theory proposes that the universe started with an infinitely hot and dense single point that inflated and stretched initially at unimaginable speeds and then at a relatively measurable rate over the next 13.8 billion years to the still-expanding cosmos we see today. According to some scientists, the Big Bang Theory is no longer considered a sure bet anymore. The new images and data from the James Webb Space Telescope has made some researchers question its credibility. For example, astronomer Allison Kirkpatrick at the University of Kansas in Lawrence says that these findings have made her question whether everything she's done in her field is wrong. The Big Bang Theory, which states that our universe is expanding, 
has been undermined by observations of incredibly small galaxies and numerous galaxies that are not consistent with the theory. In the opinion of a few scientists, the theory must be revised to account for these observations. A few scientists have criticized the Big Bang theory, claiming that it does not explain how galaxies and other objects in space expand as they get farther away from Earth. They say that they appear to shrink as their light leaves them and gets farther away through space. But the images of the James Webb Space Telescope show that they are the same size as the galaxies near us, indicating that it is not expanding and that redshift isn't proportional to distance. The galaxies in the images have a redshift that is two to three times greater than those in earlier Hubble images. This strongly contradicts the theory of an expanding universe. The opinion of Eric Lerner and Ricardo Scarpa aligns with their prediction that we are part of a non-expanding universe. They had previously published results based on Hubble Space Telescope images that showed galaxies have a redshift all the way up to five, which matched expectations for ordinary space. The Big Bang Theory predicts that the most distant galaxies and the James Webb images will be scrambled by multiple collisions and mergers. But JWST images actually show overwhelmingly smooth disks in neat spiral forms. Data from Lerner and Scarpa suggests that there are 10 times more smooth spiral galaxies than predicted by the merger theory, which challenges our ideas about mergers being a very common process according to Lerner and Scarpa. This data utterly destroys the merger theory. The Big Bang Theory implies that the most distant galaxies and the James Webb images are seen as they were about 400 to 500 million years after the origin of our universe. However, the Big Bang Theory predicts the existence of galaxies before the universe's birth, but some of these galaxies have been found to be at least a billion years old. The authors of the Panic article believe that this proves that the Big Bang did not occur. And just as there must be no galaxies older than the Big Bang, so theorists expected that as JWST looked out further in space and time, the galaxies would become fewer and eventually disappear altogether, signifying an end to cosmic activity during an age of darkness. According to a paper yet to be published, galaxies as big as the Milky Way are common even a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. From the Big Bang viewpoint, distant galaxies are supposed to be intrinsically smaller. One galaxy noted in the papers is Z2, this is far more luminous than the Milky Way but calculated to be just 300 light-years in radius, 150 times smaller than the Milky Way and smaller than any galaxy ever discovered by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The JWST images aren't the only reason that scientists might consider the Big Bang Theory wrong, according to Lerner. He believes that right now it makes 16 wrong predictions and only one that is correct. Its prediction of helium abundances are off by two orders of magnitude compared with what we observe in our universe today. Its prediction of lithium abundances are off by 20 orders of magnitude compared with what we observe today. And besides these large-scale optical illusions, there are also large-scale structures too big to have formed in the time since our universe's birth. Most cosmologists and astronomers have stated that there is an explanation for every doubt line and scarp as an article is raised. The Big Bang is definitely not dead, and recent observations of the JWST haven't disproven the theory. These observations have revealed some unexpected and strange things about the universe, but that's not all. The Big Bang is centered around two facts. One distant galaxies have a higher redshift than closer ones. To the universe is filled with cosmic microwave background radiation. Modern cosmology is based on three pillars of data, the relative abundance of elements in the early universe. The expansion rate of the universe is determined from observations of distant supernova and the clustering of galaxies. Combined with the theory of general relativity, these form what is called the Lambda Cold Dark Matter Model. In recent years, scientists have expanded on this model to create a standard cosmological model known as the LC model which explains such phenomena as the acceleration of cosmic expansion and the clustering of galaxies. The distant galaxies in the images have a dimmer surface brightness than the closer ones. It is a common misconception that redshift proves that galaxies are speeding away. They aren't. In reality, distant galaxies aren't speeding through space. Space itself is expanding and thereby putting greater distance between us. This subtle difference emphasizes that the galactic redshift is a result of cosmic expansion and not relative motion. Scientists aren't denying that what the James Webb Space Telescope found doesn't entirely align with their predictions. They were hoping to find this sort of puzzling data. They believe that it is the reason why so much was invested in building the James Webb Space Telescope in the first place. And they understand that the data collected by the JWST doesn't disprove the Big Bang model but some of their assumptions about it could be wrong. Some scientists have attempted to discredit the Big Bang Theory using the JWST images. However, there's more to the story than that. Just a few weeks after the first images of the JWST were made public, it found a galaxy that existed 13.5 billion years ago, 100 million years earlier than anything previously identified. 
Roy Nadu of the Harvard Center for Astrophysics said that James Webb Telescope could potentially look at the most distant starlight that anyone has ever seen. The light from this galaxy, which is 13.4 billion light years away, was spotted in early release data from the near infrared camera on board the telescope. It looks like a blob of red with white in its center as part of what's known as the deep field, a wider image of the distant cosmos. Scientists analyzing this data have found that this galaxy has a mass of 1 billion suns, quite a surprising feature that they do not understand at present but are looking forward to understanding better once they get time on telescope for spectroscopy. Do you think there are galaxies even older than these out there and all around us, encompassing our entire universe and making it non-expanding? The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, has a 6.5-meter primary mirror, which will allow it to collect much more light than Hubble, allowing it to look at much fainter and farther away objects. According to NASA's website, the JWST will be able to detect infrared light from faint celestial objects and should be able to observe light that has taken 13 billion years to reach us, offering a view into early stages of the universe's history. The telescope was designed both for observations in normal visible light and for observations in the infrared spectrum between 0.6 and 27 micrometers. Since it will be seeing primarily in infrared, there are several engineering challenges associated with its design. For example, the mirrors have to be kept extremely cold so that they do not emit any heat themselves or interact with any heat from their surroundings. The sunshields are also large enough that they need their own propulsion system so that they can stay properly oriented once in orbit. Overall, the JWST is just an immaculate piece of technology, which will help us bring our understanding of the universe to the next level. Although only a few images have been released yet, their impact on the scientific community is already immense. Let us know what you think about the newest discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope in the comments below.